Hey folks, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create model based on the revolve feature and extrude feature, and we will use the base dimension D equal 26. We will start from scratch, we will create new 3D model, D15 will be new name, and we will select the sketch plane, for example front, and then I will select the revolve feature, the system automatically jump to the sketch, and in the sketch, without visible or datum planes, I can start to create base shape. The base shape will be created as the outline. And if you make some small mistake, you can specify the constraint. For example, this line, I would like to have a horizontal. If you will create the datum center line, the system will create center line as axis of revolution. What does it mean? The system will automatically create necessary dimension for you and you can see that for example over here I have a constraint equal so I don't want to use it and the system will create for me more dimensions. You can reuse existing dimensions or create your custom one. So I would like to change dimensions step by step. and I will create new dimension if necessary. You can automatically refit and you can see all existing dimension what is here. What does it mean? The sketch is closed, center line exists. So if you will finish, the system allowed to you to finish the revolve feature. You can see it is possible to spin around the axis Base it on the angle or you can reuse 360 degree. The, the shape is defined and I'd like to continue base it on this shape with additional shapes. So for example, we can reuse the extra feature. The sketch plane you can set, for example, this one. And if you will orient, you will see how the system spin the model. Yeah. If you would like to sketch change sketch setup. So for example, you would like to go to opposite here. What does it mean? The system will go like we need. And I can continue and we will create the additional shape. And for example, we would like to create the rectangle and dimension will be defined as we need. If you need to create some additional circle or you would like to delete some existing geometry, you can reuse function delete segment and specify the value. You can change the dimension and if you need some additional dimension again, you can create it. So it's up to you how you will specify the shape. Okay, everything is ready. And if I will finish, the system asks me how I would like to extrude. If you use the shift button, the system allowed to you select the reference, for example, this or this one as we need. So great, everything is defined, we can confirm. And we would like to continue to create a hole, so we will create select second extrude feature and with definition we can continue. As the reference, I can reuse the existing shape. System will show me the references, for example, the placement of the next feature and I can create the another shape. So for example, we will create two circles and then with delete segment we will create really easy this shape and what I need to specify is dimension so for example R will be 7.8 and the dimension was definite on the sketch by this dimension as the 65. Sketch is ready 
confirm OK. You don't want to add material, you would like to remove. So if you would like to go inside, the system will automatically select the remove material and the depth can be specified, for example, as through all or to select it. So it's up to you, for example, through all is good because we would like to go through all material. Then we would like to continue with the round feature, for example, here on this edge and here and the dimension is possible to set to 26. Middle button, you will confirm the shape. So if you will check the necessary shape, so base shape is defined and we miss the last extrude feature, we would like to create this last one cut. What does it mean? With the extrude feature and selection the sketch plane, you can really easy use the projection and for example you would like to project these edges and then you can create the line. The line we would like to mirror on the opposite direction so if you would like to mirror create a center line and with selection edge you can mirror around the center line and again reuse the delete segment and delete what you don't want to use. Dimension was defined between these two lines and dimension is 46.8. What we would like to do is finish the sketch and I don't want to add material again, we would like to remove material, so system automatically again recognize that we would like to remove and last value is 18.2 as the value for the depth of the cut. If I will finish OK, everything is defined and for example we would like to create custom section. Yeah, so you can see here that we can create in the view manager custom section. We would like to create a new as the Planner, the system asks you about the name, so select A, B, C, D, and so on. And if you confirm, the system asks you select the planner surface or datum plane. Everything is great, looks good. And if you will confirm OK, you can close. What does it mean? You can check the shape, and if you select right mouse button, you can visualize, for example, hatching and edit hatching. And you can specify the material of the hedge here. Yeah? And then you can change the, the scale or specify you can angle, for example, 45 or minus 45. Yeah. Change the color, come from OK. And in the visualization, you can show the section. So over here was example how it's possible to manage the section and visualize it. So if you would like to deactivate, so do not show the section and deactivate section. Apply the color for the object. So select from your palette and set color. Or if you would like to change the quality, so you select edit and change, for example, the custom color. So you can select or modify the transparency here. Yeah. Finish, save model and reuse into assembly. In this video tutorial you have seen how it's possible to use the revolve feature, how to manage additional extrude feature, round and how to possible to manage the sections. Stay tuned and bye bye. bye, -bye.